Okay, so having reviewed the footage somewhat, it seems that it's a bit blurry, so we'll do a little bit more around the top. Because um, I've got to do the, the upper superstructure anyway. But this time, let's see if we can get the, a bit better in focus. Alright, yeah, this brush is way too big. Alright. So now we're going to do this upper superstructure, but now I'm on the triple O. Same process, smaller brush. I think I can see it again. It's good, isn't it? Okay, so we don't have to worry too much about the ship's boats because the ship's boats will be white, so we can paint. We're going to paint over them anyway. But that may not be such an issue here for the Mighty Mac. Okay, go up to the front a bit, gives a bit more clear space. As you can see, I am not painting, I am swabbing. Just running the brush in and out of the spaces, pushing the paint into the spaces by pushing the brush forward. Starting to a little bit look a little bit more like a Mackinson should. This is the second one of these I've done. Got a bit of paint there where I don't want it. Just getting a spare rescue brush. now too wet to use. Let's go back over here. Alright. Painting in here. Same technique. Over and over again. Just pushing the paint into the gaps. Alright, I hope you saw that better. There's a bit of patch of grey coming through over there. I want to fix up using a smaller brush. Yep, the reason I chose the Mighty Mac is because there's a lot of space on it, which means that. Okay. <laughs> I have to repeat the same technique over and over again. So, I think that's probably enough swabbing. I hope you've gotten the... Um, yeah, as I said before, we'll come back and do the brown... wash and that, that puts in a bit of colour into it, uh, makes it look like it's a more used part of the deck, adds in those shadow effects. Not as, as easy as the first wash we put in but it's um, easy, easy nevertheless. Alright, so when we come back I'll be doing that. Alright, so we spoke at length about correcting errors. So I have gone back and got some black and mixed it with the medium sea grape. So, there are errors. Let's have a look at the anchor chain. If I just find out where the anchor chain is, there it is. Okay. 
Um, so I'm going to run the brush along here. There we go. I'm actually painting. Can you believe it? Not painting anything. Here we are actually painting something. Alright, as you can see, I have painted over a lot of the boats because I needed to get to the stuff in the middle. So, here's a good example. Bit of paint there, see that? Clean that up. It doesn't so matter so much about our... Ah, that's annoying. Get a correction brush on that real quick before it sets. Uh, see if you can see it. Anyway, have to get it out there over there before it sets. Not too late. Oh, there's something I'm going to have to correct. Doing a correction pass and having to correct the correction pass. Fun, fun, fun. Alright. So. Gosh. Painting position is not ideal. Ah, all I did was undo the paintwork I wanted to do. There you go. Alright. So there's a bit here, a bit there. All I'm doing is just spot the yellow and I'm correcting it. Okay, so I painted over that to get to the deck. Painted over that bit. Painted over that bit. So yeah, you get the hang of it. I'm just coming back. Finding yellow on grey, repainting grey. Wherever I find yellow. That's probably the most heinous crimes. There's a bit there. Oh dear. It's quite fiddly work. Oh, there's a bit up front. Yeah, you can see that. Good. That's it, really. It's not that fascinating or enjoyable or fascinating viewing, it's just find the yellow that's on the grey that shouldn't be there and touch it up. Oh, there's a bit there. Oh, there's a bit there. Alright, so yes, that's the correction process. Uh, it's not rocket surgery, and that's where we're up to. All the deck is finally on. Yeah, that takes the longest, doesn't it? Uh, but we've got to remember though that this is probably our biggest ship, apart from Renown. Um, so there was a lot of surface area and deck to paint. Won't be so anywhere near so bad on light cruises, etc. Okay, so just as a point of interest, I painted home to Mercedes. I'll put them over here where you can see them. There they are there. Um, so that's just the one coat. That was extremely easy in comparison to the other stuff we'd be doing. 
but I'm just bring, trying to get into focus. All right, I'll go that way. Goodness, there we go. So yes, there's deck underneath those boats and around those funnels, etc., etc. But there's no way in hell you can get a brush in there. And once those boats are painted white and the funnels black at the top, um, you know you're not going to be able to see uh, decking detail under there. And yeah. It's just not worth it. It's, it's a very small ship. I'll put it back down next to the battleship, uh, battle cruiser. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so as promised, we move on to the da -da -da -da, brown washed shade. This is just the one I have on hand at the moment. I use all of the different washes. This one is rather good, though. I must admit, this is Seraphim Sepia. All right, and we're back to doing easy stuff. That deck was a big job. All right, we are. Where's the brush? There it is. Back with the um, triple zero. Oh, I've still got a bit to deck on it. Get that off. Good. All right. So I'm just going to use that bit there. I don't want to do the brush too much. All right. Now, all I'm going to do is run the brush around the grey bits. That's all we're doing. Okay, you can see all that. That's good. That's all I'm doing. Take getting the grey bits and adding the brown around the outside. Now this is what we're effectively doing here is adding a shadow to the miniature. Anywhere there is grey to add brown at the point where it hits the deck. That includes all the lumpy bumpies. Managed to hit the camera again. Genius! Alright, so around here, around in there. Just going to put that in and around anything that's grey that touches the yellow. necessarily painting it on I'm sort of splashing it on I guess but it is being it is painted I'm not swabbing it or anything okay so we need to do that but I need to do it on camera go around that bit there there. Put a lot in the middle because there's going to be a lot more shadow in the middle. That's just highlighting something I missed. I can come back and fix up. Around the superstructure, as I say, anywhere where grey meets yellow. 
Now for me this stuff dries really quickly. So you've got to be careful about it. Make sure that there's an even amount of it. Alright, where else does it need to go? Make sure it's going around the boats as well. Guns, around the boats. Um, it's looking pretty good. If you get a bit on the grey that you don't want there, just rub it off with your finger. Um, that looks pretty good. I'm getting in the middle a bit more. If you want extra shadow in the middle, I'll show you that. I guess this is a highlight coat for the deck, isn't it? So that's what we're doing. But instead of doing it the hard way, we're letting Wash do it. Okay, looks like I'm getting to the point where I've got everything. So I've got a very healthy coat. Looks pretty good. So I'll put that down. Uh, so you could do the anchor chains if you wanted to, but I prefer to do them with a black wash. which we saw earlier. Yeah, just sort of dabbing it on and around. Get it in the painting lamp. There we go. Okay that down. There we go, so that's the wash coat. Now we have a little bit more colour depth. And if you want to, you can let that dry. And if you find areas that you've been a bit too excessive with the wash, you can always come back with a deck colour and paint back over it to correct your errors. Depending on how pedantic you want to be. Uh, at the Mighty Mac is... Uh, it's one of those ships that people, when they walk past your table, are going to pick up and go, do you mind if I have a look at this one? So, it may not hurt to put in a tiny little bit more effort, I guess. There we go. Um, so I'm going to call it a day. And we'll come back and do turrets. Um, and then pick up boats and those sorts of things a bit later on. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you've um, learnt something useful. I'm sure you probably do it your ships your way a lot better than mine, but this is how I do it. 
and uh, these are the ones that appear on the web page and the rule book etc so yeah all right so don't give up we're not quite finished yet we've got masters to black in we've got turrets to add we've got boats to do white on um, and then we're going to make the miniature flat so we can then stick it onto a base um, and I'll do that with you as well okay thanks for watching